This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit theinnofwaterloo.com. It's the District 8 semifinal from Rim Park. The Monsignor Doyle Mustangs facing off with the St. David Celtics. The Celtics undefeated this season, looking to keep the streak alive and move on to the finals. The Mustangs looking to pull off the upset on Wednesday afternoon. Jumping into the first period and it's the Celtics coming out flying. This is Megan Bell. She pulls it around the defense. Abigail Musk tracks the puck and covers up. Then it's a chance for the Mustangs. Chloe Gregory breaks into the zone and rips a clapper on net. Megan Stewart squares it up and holds on. The Celtics back the other way. Megan Bell is out front. She jams away at the puck. The rebound pops out to Addison Tillich. Abigail Musk kicks it away and keeps the scoreless heading to the second. In the second period now, and it's the Mustangs with a great chance to open the scoring. Kylie Foss plays it on net. Chloe Gregory is on the rebound. Megan Stewart with a brilliant pad save. Stones are cold. Then it's the Celtics on the rush. This is Lily Bell. She chases after her own rebound and she sends it to Naomi Dupuy out high. Naomi rips a wrister and that's a goal. She makes it one nothing and that goal would open the floodgates. Only a few minutes later and it's a good point shot from Sophie LaBelle. Megan Bell is out front, and she jams it home, so now it's 2-0. Then it's a chance for the Mustangs on the break. Mackenzie Willems speeds in and fires. Megan Stewart marks it and holds the two-goal lead. Moments later now, and how about the captain for the Celtics, Cameron Zumlinski? She flies in on net and fires, and she's got another goal! Cameron makes it 3-0 Celtics, and they wouldn't stop there. Lay in the frame, and it's a good setup for Megan Bell. She sends it to Casey Beisel. Casey goes forehand, backhand, goal! That's a sweet move from Beisel, and the Celtics make it four in the second period. In the third period now, and it's one more for the road from the Celtics, it's Casey Beisel once again flying down the ice and pulling a move, and she's got a pair. That goal makes it 5 nothing, and that's where this one would end. So it's the St. David Celtics bringing it in the second period with four goals as they take the semifinal over the Monsignor Doyle Mustangs. They take this one by a final score of 5 to nothing and move on to play Resurrection in a best of three final series.